So on the last episode, I finally managed to get the fourth and final Xenite Shard that I needed to create all of the Xenite Jewelry. So with that, I'm currently working on 93 crafting so I can boost to make the Torture Amulet the best melee amulet in the game. And I didn't mention this uh, training method that I'm working on right now to train my crafting and it is simply to use the cut gems and turning them into the uh, amulets on strong. So even working with sapphires, the lowest uh, gems, I'm still getting over 60k an hour and this is me being really laid back. You can get over 70k an hour pretty easily if you paid a bit more attention to it. And of course I used uh, rubies, emeralds, and even diamonds. And at diamonds, you can get over 100k crafting experience an hour making the uh, diamond amulets. So it's really, really good XP. So turning gems into amulets is really only recommended for like higher level Ironmans because if you're early to mid level Ironman, you probably will need your gems for like, you know, things other than just for crafting XP. Now, if you are a late game Iron Man like me, you don't really have to worry about that too much because uh, stuff like raids gets you a lot of gems. So I had a bunch of spirit tree seeds and uh, I know a lot of people like don't like seeing them because usually when you get these as a drop from Zoro or something, it's like considered troll, but believe me, these are no troll drops. I mean, look at the XP that I get from one of these trees. Almost 20k. I have 20 plus of them, so that's like... Yeah, that's over 400k experience into farming. So guys, I'm making pretty good progress on the 93 crafting goal. Uh, so I can make the torture amulet. I'm 400k away, so I hope to get that within one or two days. Now, there is another problem though. I don't have another onyx to go along with the zenith that I have. So what I plan on doing is actually, I'm gonna probably go back to Zora and uh, slate that snake for the onyx. At least for a bit because I think there is a third onyx coming up. I'm, I'm just feeling it. And the other reason is because I really want to get some more skills. Uh, very soon, I'll probably run out of skills so inevitably I have to go back to Zora anyways. But obviously if there's a chance that I spend a few days there and, and I don't get the onyx from it, I guess I'll just say, alright screw it. I'll just sell chaos runes for the onyx. But so this is uh, my 8 kill trip, I didn't bank, I was just you know replenishing at my house using a pool and then just ferrying back to Zora and yeah 8 kills, I could do more though, like I have so much food so uh, this setup is crazy but wow I got 1 million in drops from 8 kills that's, that's just insane, I forgot how crazy Zora was <laughs> what's the drop though? okay, okay I am looking for a really rare gem. Not this one though. Oh my god, no. No way, seriously. Oh wow, I got an elite clue scroll. Bank pin update came out already, so... Change logout behaviors, yeah, that was never there. On logging from same place, log after 5 minutes offline. That's awesome, that way I can hop around a lot and uh, I don't have to redo my pin, so... Somewhere here. Oh, what? You serious? I just teleported here and I found the spot. Oh fuck! No shit! shit, shit, shit. Teleport! Teleport! <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't even see that this was multi. Round two. Fight. Bitch! You wanna go? See you later, man. This is Master Clue number twenty. So uh, here goes nothing. Oh my god! Yo, Armado Gossel Ornament Kit. The only god sword that I don't have on me, I get the uh, ornament kit for it. <laughs> Dang, that's nice though. Yo, I'll take that man. HS ornament kit. I know what I gotta do soon. Oh, this is also my first ever ornament kit. So this is like my third or fourth raid uh, using, you know, Augury for Ohm. And let me tell you man, Augury is amazing yo. Like, I, I feel like my Ohm kills are on average like one minute faster like seriously one whole minute faster yo nice got a new uh, personal record man not even trying you know bust up a few vents and vulnerabilities and all that stuff could get get it to like sub a uh, minute but yeah I'll take that man PR for casual kills so I am done crafting all my cut gems into jewelry that got me all the way to 200k 
experience to go for 90 crafting so I'm at like the final hurdle you know like tomorrow is probably gonna be the day that I get it and this is the final product shit tons of amulets and bracelets totaling to around 30 mil holy shit this is a new record man hands down new record <laughs> I knew it man 107 nice nice oh I also recently hit a 1500 KC at Zora so we basically passed the average about to uh, three onyx drops so okay there we go we got the first uh drop coming back to the zora dude uh my tens and i think drop rates are pretty insane i'll take that though because that's really good scales now this is a fletching level that i've been looking forward to for a bit now guys just hit 92 fletching that also marks the halfway point to uh, 99 fletching which is pretty cool but the big thing is the ability to make dragon javelin so i got the ballista recently and i always wanted to play around with it uh mainly at raids and the rune javelins just wasn't cutting it man but maybe uh we can put the ballista to really good use with the dragon javelins i've heard rumors of being able to hit like 80 and even up to 90 with a special if you have like all the damage uh boost possible and i do so yeah we're gonna be going to raids with it again and I'll definitely be recording those big hits whenever I get one. So I wanted to get 93 crafting tonight, but yeah, I just don't have enough time because yes, even the 200k left still takes a lot of time. But look at my bowstring collection, guys. Over 100,000 finally. And that's all spun through the spell, of course. And that is uh, over 1.5 mil crafting experience. And yes, I only have a few thousand more to go. So tomorrow is going to be the day that I get it. I'm so close. I'm all about the big hits. Oh, 72? Oh, 500 XP drop. Wow, 75. Okay. Yeah, the dragon javelins is doing work, man. So I've done a few raids now with the heavy ballista and dragon javelins. You know, obviously using like the best uh, gear that you could possibly do there. And my final verdict for the ballista there is that it's all right. It certainly isn't anything outstanding there, like the Armado Crossbow with Iron Bolts surely beats the Heavy Ballista hands down in pretty much uh, everything. So with that being said, it's not the worst weapon, it's only I feel like slightly worse than the Armado Crossbow in some places in raids, so I guess if you want a quick change of pace and uh, want to see some big hits to change things up, yeah, feel free to use the Heavy Ballista because it won't be too much worse. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my lord. I can't believe I just got another Tanzanite mutagen. I guess I'll have placeholder Tanzanite helms. Yeah. That's that's kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, is this the last kill? Indeed. Well, that's uh, enough Zora for a while. I am pretty uh, set on skills now, so I don't need to come back anymore. I gave it a shot, and I didn't get the onyx from Zora, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, sell a bunch of chaos runes for the Taku for the onyx, so let's do it. Alright, the last uh, onyx that I need, probably uh, forever, hopefully I don't need to get any more of these. 260k Taku, yes, alright. Okay, all that's left is uh, to get the 22k crafting, and then we're done. 3, 2, 1. Zero! Yes! Let's go, man. 93 crafting. Oh, my god. Man, I'm done freaking flaxing, man. I'm done crafting. You're never gonna see me touch no bowstrings. You're not gonna see me touch no flax ever again, like, on this account. Like, please. Yes! It's an emulate. Oh, yes! It's done. Well, almost done. Alright, string this. Yes! Oh, Level 7 enchant, here we go. Yes! Oh my lord, it is done. Alright, let's put on this bad boy. Check out those stats. Oh man, 15 accuracy melee stats, 10 strength bonus, plus 2 prayer. This is gonna be so nice for raids, guys. Oh man. That is amazing. That's it. We have all the uh, jewelry done. You know, got all the powerful, the most powerful jewelry set completed, man. So I just finished a few uh, raids using my newly created 
Emblem of Torture, and I gotta say, I do notice the difference. So the uh, Emblem of Torture, the biggest thing I notice, isn't like an extra you know damage increase or anything, because the plus two doesn't you know equal another damage, but the plus five accuracy uh, over the Emblem of Fury is noticeable because Giant Warhammer seemed to be landing a bit more. Makes sense. So. That's just very nice, so um, yeah, even more motivated to do some raids because I got some new gear to play around with. Anyways, I'm so glad to be done with this crafting grind because I can now uh, use the time that I would normally be crafting, you know, these past few days to get back to some more interesting things like catching lots of red chins for armadillo. So we're going to see a lot of armadillo content coming up. going to wrap that up, you know, finish up all the god wars with the helmet and the armadillo hilt. And of course, Corporal Beast is coming up soon, guys. So, uh, there's only a few things left, of course. I just need to get my Tyrannical Ring uh, sometime, you know, in between the Godwars grind. And also, when I have the time, I need to uh, make a lot of cannonballs. So, I need to prep up a lot of steel bars. So, I am looking forward to doing quite a bit of Corp. So, hopefully, you guys will be uh, down to watch some Corp as well. And uh, anyways, I'm going to be ending today's video here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, as usual. And if you want to stay up to date with the series, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to catch you guys soon with another video in a few days. Take care and bye bye guys.